Greetings, heroes, and welcome back to Empire City. I'm Tormented by Gnomes, your game master, producer, showrunner, technical director, and a person who never gets anything wrong ever. And you're watching Absolute Power right here on Casters and Castles, sponsored by Dicegami Publishing Company and powered by the TriStat system. Let's go ahead and meet our superheroes. Joining us once again, we've got Leg Day. Oh, hello. For some reason, I wasn't expected to be first, even though I basically always am. Yeah, you're going to be uh, first every single time in this yeah. group. It changes uh, every single time, you know. True, true, true. Uh, I've been having a, a pretty good day doing some Overwatch with Lemon. So we've definitely come into this with the perfect mentality. We are completely zen. Did you uh, go up? The, did the games were good or the games were uh, not good? I mean, I technically went up. Games were middling, but I did rank up. Okay. All right. You know what? That's all that matters. <laughs> Lemon Kiwi, what about you? Do you share a similar story? Hold on, you're over here. Do you share a similar story or do you have an alternate opinion about the game? I don't know why I also looked up like what <laughs> God, it's me. Uh, a bunch of supers. I got rolled on tank all day, so but I'm ready to roll some other people. Uh, Let's go. As a superhero thing. After yeah. some games of Overwatch, it's nothing like a little power fantasy, am I right? Yeah. All right, all right. Ninja Man Matt looking absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I figured I would get into character not just with uh, mind, body, and spirit, but also in costume. Uh, hi, Ninja Man Matt, uh, co helper of Anakra. <laughs> uh, I do stuff on Caches and Castles, usually on Fridays and some Saturdays. And then, of course, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, either Coriander or Absolute Power or any other amazingly wonderful show we have sponsored by any of our wonderful supporters. Uh, but today I'm going to be playing a gnome bear hybrid known as Buria uh, on the run from cold. And they have a bunch of cool friends. They eat a bunch of candy. Can we really hope for anything more in life? And no. last but not least, Pods, how are you doing over there? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, tired, um, but fortunately, everything on the stream has gone perfectly well so far, so I'm really excited for it to continue to go <laughs> yeah, perfectly, perfectly well. Exactly. I did not just have all of my audio and microphone go out um, in the instance of us starting the stream and me talking. That didn't happen. You 100% could have got away and nobody would have known except for us, <laughs> but th the truth is out there now. You don't even have to like tattle on yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do that all the time. Foot and mouth. <laughs> anyway, my name is Pods. I'm a girl on the internet. Um, I same. do things. No, same. <laughs> same. So brave. Oh my gosh, can we be friends? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, do a little bit of hosting. Do a little bit of running some companies. Um. I just went on a cruise and that was really great. And now I'm back. And is that also how great, great was it? <laughs> it was really great. <laughs> That's the only word I know right now. Great. Listen. Everything's great. <laughs> Everything is great. Everything is great. Everything is great. Really great. Yeah. Oh, man. We've got weird energy tonight, which is the perfect setup for our second episode of Absolute Power. When last we left our heroes in Empire City, these young students of the Harrison Academy, because for some reason we keep ending up at super academies, <laughs> uh, went off on their own to explore the abandoned Guderian Research Institute, uh, suspicious that a Russian embargoed Russian shipment connected to the sinister organization that created Buria was being smuggled in. Instead, they found suspiciously strong security systems security which was successfully bypassed by Abby Normal's dedicated mod, Icky. Icky Jimmy. <laughs> Icky Jimmy. Icky Jimmy. <laughs> Sounds oh, like yeah. a mobster name, you know? Oh, you gotta, you gotta go talk to Icky Jimmy. Talk to Icky. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll set you straight. Anyways, <laughs> they broke into the facility, which, despite the advanced security systems and guards, seemed to be abandoned. And in that exact moment, a mysterious blue and violet flame descended from the sky, interfering with electronic signals and equipment all over the area. Followed closely by the Five Shields, a mercenary corporate-sponsored superhero team based out of Empire City. The Five Shields joined battle with a mysterious crystalline entity that formed, and our young heroes rushed into the fray to assist, successfully landing the kill, shattering this entity into pieces. 
In the process, however, one of the security guards at the abandoned Guderian Institute was killed by the American, the powerhouse, one of the, not the tactical leader, but like the powerhouse figurehead of the Five Shields. Breach Fist, the actual leader of the Five Shields, immediately contacted all four of our young heroes and gave them $10,000 to sign a 24-hour moratorium, a temporary NDA. It included with it an obligation to meet at Five Shields Corporate Park the next day. Our heroes decided to take this deal and went back home. And that's where we left them. Does anybody have any questions? Did I miss any key details? Let me leave off on my ex doing some shit. Yeah, but none of you saw that. He, uh, oh. he yeah, he got a piece of this of this crystalline creature uh, powder. He was at a fancy party at like a penthouse, you know, somebody's Airbnb. He party, was doing Airbnb. coke. That's right. Oh, uh, hero he was, coke. Hey, though. no, he was not doing coke. All right, drugs are bad. Okay. Yeah. He was snorting <laughs> up the. He was snorting the ground up powderized remnants of a of a sentient being. That's so totally totally different. I think I ashes? too got some of the Pepsi. That's worse. Hey, Grandpa, I no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that you got some of that as well. Make sure anytime you do something like that, you write down your character sheet because you're. Wait, you're we built. got some of that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, hands you got Hero Coke? <clears throat> We've got Hero Pepsi. We have oh, co we have cooking. No, it's Hero <laughs> Pepsi. All right, <laughs> stick stick with the theme here, okay? We're gonna lose. Sponsorship. <laughs> I said Coca-Cola. <laughs> I was gonna say Coke is a licensed product. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's fine. We're okay. Yeah, but they're also not sponsoring us, so you know, <laughs> them. Yeah, <I'm> not, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, Neither brand Pepsi. names. Exactly. Exactly. Acme it's products. Just cola. <laughs> cola exactly. is fine. Acme Cola Co Corporation. Cola pop. Cola po Sola pop. Oh, this is New York. Do they call it pop out there? Nope. Damn it. Right. Damn L. <laughs> L. Big L. Alright. I don't even drink it. So, our heroes have been loosed upon the city, back to the Harrison Academy, or wherever else you want to go. It's late at night, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. You've all signed a 24-hour moratorium, and you've had $10,000 wired into your accounts, or your PayPals, or your, your Venmos, or your Zells, or whatever you folks use. So, that's all, you know, just directly all in bits. Whatever you want. And cheer, we don't care. <laughs> you've all been paid. You've all signed this legal binding agreement, and unless you've got something else in mind, the next step is going to be to get ready for this uh, this meeting at the Five Shields Corporate Park tomorrow. Does anybody have anything you want to do before we jump to that scene? Wait, so my truck tons of candy was already delivered, or is that coming later? It's coming later. That's a little bit okay. more more logistically difficult to execute. <laughs> it should you be. It's your coming payment from Russia. Candy, right? Yeah. 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 That's, that's like really I, expensive candy. I don't think they can do better than 24 hours on that. There's a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. No, global supply fine. chain issues. So they're superheroes. What are you talking about? They just <laughs> and I give my number over. to Breach Fist, right? What was that? I give my number, number to, to Breach the Fist. American. You gave it to the American. <laughs> oh, okay. Just yeah. Kidding. Yeah. Let's, you know what? Let's review the five yeah, shields. Yeah, please quick. do. I'm just going to bring a up Blonde Boy. Exactly. So I'm just going to go ahead and swiftly swap here so that our. Viewing audience can see the five shields. Yeah. We've got Mind Speed. Um, what, was, what was the axe dude's name? I wrote it down. Oh, it's in the article. Axe dude. <laughs> uh, the American is front and center. Breach Fist is on the left. Upper left, right? Yeah. Upper left, yeah. Oh, I need to open the right one. Uh, Speedy so boy. Beach fist. Uh, Devil Dove is in the top right. Mind Speed and Sword Buster. Sword Buster? They have an axe and they're called Sword Buster? Well, yeah, because he busts swords with his axe. Oh, I'm glad uh, I don't use a blade. That's good. Yeah, none of us use swords, per se. Yeah, we'll be yeah, fine. Exactly. You'll be fine. He's powerless against you if you don't have a sword. Okay, I got Breach Fist, American. <laughs> Who's a shield guy? Mind Speed. Mind Speed. He's a speedster who can also generate psychic shields. That's cool. And then the axe guy is Sword Buster. Sword Buster. And Devil Dove is in the top right. She is the, not only is she a superhero, she's also a mega influencer. An influencer. And she's called Devil Dove, and she's got angel wings. Wait, That's who has cool. more followers? Ours or their influencer? He does. But you got to remember, she's got the entire 
force of a social media department, marketing department of this mega national corporation behind her. So it's not necessarily organic growth. But the media presence okay. is extremely strong. <clears throat> Sometimes her stuff will go viral, but you know, maybe it, it didn't do that naturally. Maybe it just got shoved in everyone's feeds because they paid off the algorithm. Well, yeah. she isn't a meme. Yeah. Uh, Buria is like like tater sauce. There's like a, a weird dog meme. Congratulations, <laughs> you're a weird dog meme. Yes. <laughs> you're the Shiba Inu in like the Slav outfit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of uh, yeah. There's a lot of yeah. A lot of a lot of pictures of Buria just like squatting, but like you know, six arms. <laughs> all, all six arms together, like yeah, triangle. Triangle. Yeah, like, <laughs> the, the tangent aside. Triangle. Tangent aside. Bobolsky. Let's get to a meeting. <clears throat> yeah, Sorry. <laughs> so you're you're meeting with the Five Shield at Five Shields Corporate Park, which is in the northwest of, of Staten Island, which is somewhere over here. Ignore the feet. This is this is not to scale. Um, <laughs> but yeah, do you? Absolutely. Yeah, do you I'm have anything you here. need to do for preparation? Anything you want to take care of the rest of the night, that morning? We're sort of in, you know, flowy story time at the moment. So it's up to uh, you as yeah, a team to Yeah, we have to, to talk about it. Go ahead. Do you talk in person or do you have it in the group chat? I figure we return to our like studio warehouse thing. Yeah. First thing. And yeah, we're back at the hideout, which is All a right, warehouse. So, as as we get in, Pronto straight away walks over to the the tiny kitchenette. Uh, start puts some water in a kettle, starts boiling it, grabs a a pot noodle. Not 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 the not the greatest home cooking, <laughs> but boy's hungry. Hey, you know, starving students. Good thing. Did any of you take wealth as an attribute? I just got five points. What do you know? Suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> all of your internet money just kicks in. I have ten thousand yeah. dollars. Okay, you do have ten thousand dollars, but it, you you have to convert that to pot noodles. You know what I mean? <clears throat> all right. Yeah, our heroes are in the warehouse. There's pot noodles going. I'm gonna step back until you're ready. So, uh, how are we thinking of dealing with this, huh? Well, we don't even know what they're going to propose. I was just going to hear them out. Yeah, I figure they're probably going to offer more money. Thank you, by the way, because uh, I got us all an extra 10k. Thank so we you. Have 20K? Good job. Thank you, Abby. Well, I mean, they were just going to give us 10k, but I said, you know, we got we got to play hardball. My problem is I don't know how much to, uh, how much we should go for. Obviously, they're going to ask us more money, but um, I don't know what the right rate is. You mean for keeping your silence when you are seeing murder? Right, right. Yeah, for shorthand, we call that a bribe. So why don't we go there and figure it out? No sense of preparing for something. We don't know what's going to happen. Sure. Well, well, we'll have to wait until tomorrow, but uh, is there anything we want to take in with us secretly? I just Googled. I probably shouldn't have Googled how much does it cost to cover up a murder on my actual <laughs> <internet>. <laughs> Google. <laughs> but hey, you know, here we are. Hi, uh, Ninja Man Matt. We're outside your house. We have some questions <laughs> about your search history. Could you just come out with your hands up? Thank you. I am I'm streaming right now. We're out in, like, what? How long do you think we'll be? Another three I'll hours? be out in three hours. <laughs> Are you getting swatted? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So our heroes sit around eating ramen, eating uh, candy, thinking about stuff, but it doesn't sound like they're heading in any particular direction aside from... It. We'll do it live. There is another thing. Okay. So I know we signed this 24 hour. We're not going to say anything about what just happened. Oratorium. Right. But, you know, I can't control what my chat does. I'm sure that there's already. I mean, we, we made sure that people took clips of it, right? Yeah, we saved the VOD. Oh, yeah. 
They I guess that's the a mod. gimmick, remember? Question. They uh, they went directly to the service provider and had the VOD pulled. I thought they just wanted to go offline. Onto did message Jimmy to late chat the second that they turned up. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Icky Jimmy says he has it. And any clips that are cloud stored are gone, but any clips that people downloaded are fine. If it was on a, like a GroPro hard drive, that should still be existing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they, they didn't take that. Okay, good. Well, Buria offers up the GoPro to, uh, to Abby Normal. Right. Um, let me back this up. We'll put it on two different hard drives. Um, send Jimmy a copy. That is a good start, yes. I mean, once we sign this thing, we're not going to be able to leak anything. Well, not not like, you know, legitimately. And but we why don't we... Have the main thing, uh, why are we not trying to be friends with the Shields? I mean, they're popular. They could get us higher up in the rankings of the hero system. Um, maybe because they artificially inflate their numbers and they just killed somebody. But we don't that really care about that, that much, right? It concerns me that you said botting first. I mean, I mean, the American kind of hot. So I hope you guys just don't like fuck that up for me. I already told you that he likes you. Yeah, so I don't. I'm not trying to jeopardize that. Is is he, he more or less hot for having killed someone? Do you really want the answer to that question? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. goes back to his noodle. <laughs> you know what? No. If it makes you feel any better, he's probably super superficial and wouldn't care whatever you do as long as you are hot as well. I see. I see no problem with. I see me being asked out on a date and y'all just tagging along. Because they invited I... us. We would never, we would never interrupt your, your evening with the American. Ah, see? Unless, you know, or like, there was a lot of candy involved, in which case I would be date. there. Fourth wheeling. Not date? Uh... I think it is called big rigging in the communities, yes. You what? <laughs> That's so When you bring funny. an entire attaché of friends, yes, yeah, it's, it's big rig. So many tires. Oh. Yeah. About the crew. Well... There's other cute guys and women there, right? So why don't we just move up the ladder? Are you suggesting that we date the shields? Is this like I mean entire if they're team interested. Dates entire team? Like some kind of a love house collaboration? Yeah, we'll be the swords, they'll be the shields when a sword and a shield really like each other. <laughs> I do not think Breaker would like that very much, but that is a very good pun. I like where you're going with this. And who's going to date Boria? Uh, I will be dating two of them. One when I am small and one when I am large. That way we each Aww. have a partner. But they will never know. I will be very, very secretive, and I will tell them to look that way, and then I will be gone, and then I will show up, and I will be both Winter Wampus and Buria. It will be You both. can't cheat on them. It's causing it's drama. It is not cheating. It's two different entities. One is a primal force in nature, and one is a cute little dog thing. It's fine. It's got okay. a point. Yeah. All right, well, shoddy the American. <laughs> you can't have him. <laughs> you can have the American. It's fine. I, uh, I I think Swordbuster would be into the primal force of nature. Oh, that. <laughs> Breachfist probably likes puppies, so you're good. I'm uh, calling Breachfist. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. I I that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, it's pretty late. I don't know if you even got her number, so. I, I mean, know. honestly, I feel like uh, Gabby is going to be going for social media angel. So I will just take uh, the leftovers, the sloppy seconds, the, the breaker <laughs> and the speed shield. I thing. think I'd rather her have be my enemy than my partner. It's like a rival. Rivals in love, right? That's I think you I like read, boost each uh, other's numbers. It would be so dope. Collabs. But like, mm. that's true. What if it was collab. just like... 
fake. Oh, that's good. Oh. You could construct so many various circumstances with which you would be pumping the numbers. That would be very nice. I think you're onto something. You I'll think stick. about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, oh. I'm going to go to bed then and think about my date with the American. Good night, everyone. <laughs> everyone make sure that her bedroom has a 15 meter exclusion zone. <laughs> I am the exclusion zone. That actually would not be a bad name for a super. Exclusion <laughs> zone. <laughs> yeah, did, we have a, did we come up with a group name last time? I feel like we did. I've been calling you the Clout Crusaders, but that's not. That's official. right, the Clout Crusaders. I didn't like. That's just something I came up with. It's not something the world came up with. It's not something you branded yourselves as. Well, no, I, I think I think I think we're the Crusaders, but I think we're just you know we're we're known colloquially as the uh, the Clout Crusaders. But what if you're the Crusaders? Like, what are you crusading for? What? What uh, are the Avengers avenging? We just are Crusaders. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Is everyone yeah, heading to you. bed? Ponto's like splayed out on the couch. She's like, Boria. Ah. <laughs> Boria uh, scampers over. Uh, he's he's patting around on two hands, and then he has a plate full of uh, the the spaghetti. Uh, but he's poured uh, maple syrup over the entire thing. And then my, he entire, the, my entire genealogy thrones upon this. It is still wonderful, Marco. You did an incredible job. I just there's not enough sugar in this. You don't. You put the other one, not the the other spice, the other white one. It's very salty, but it's very good. I like. It. I'll let mom know. Delray says very big hello. Well, does she know I can talk? I forget that she knows I can talk. I know I um, usually talk when we're around her. She forgets you know to talk often. Well, then tell her I say bark. <laughs> I will. Pro Prado's like, this conversation is continuing, but I am going to bed. <laughs> and uh, Boria just clambers up and uh, does that thing where he walks around like three times and then just sits down, like kind of not on Marco, but like next to him and then like kind of leaning into him, but like kind of giving his rumpus, and then the other is just scarfing down maple spaghetti on the other side of the couch or wherever they are right now. Maple spaghetti. All right, Abby, you settling in as well? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. I I will switch out the SD card and the mm -hmm. GoPro, um, and then put that one in a secure location. along with the backup drives. Okay. And then go to bed. All right. Everyone wakes up the next morning. It is Tuesday. You have classes at Harrison Academy, uh, but your meeting is at 11 a.m. So I imagine we're going to be blowing those off. Calling in sick, uh, just taking a few hits on your participation grades, whatever is necessary. You're all free to make whatever preparations you want, get gussied up, wear your absolute best. Uh, ride service is available. You just need to call this number when you're ready for pickup, um, or you can take public transportation. Subway will get you out there. A variety of boys will get you out there. In the morning, Abby, you are... There's a lot of activity in your Discord. <laughs> a lot. Always worrying. Uh, Icky is freaking out. All my apes gone. He is his <laughs> my, my Zodiac Raider NFT collection is completely gone. I didn't send my my private key to anybody. I I had it hosted on my own private drive. I wasn't using one of those services. Somebody took all my raiders. How? Okay, <laughs> she just starts typing. How could they do that if you had it? on an external wallet. I don't know, it should be impossible. I had the thing locked up in a safe. Well, have you checked your safe? Yeah. No one's touched it. What? Did you? You didn't by chance happen to leak anything yesterday? No, no, obviously not. You told me not to. I would never do anything like that. I mean, technically, Pronto told you to. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Message deleted. Message deleted. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm sure whatever happened was a mistake, and you are very talented, and you will figure it out. Okay. I'm, I need to work on this. Uh, I had some really, really rare Doctor Sagittarius's. Like some, I I gave him two slurp juices. Two slurp juices. And they're oh gone. Gosh. So I, I have to work on this. Ping me if you need me, but uh, status red. Do not disturb. Is is the whole Discord like that? No, no. <laughs> the only person who got hit was Icky. And all, a lot of the people in the Discord are, are not really into that entire scene. It's kind of Icky's thing for the most part. There's a few <laughs> dabblers, but really he's like, ever since the crypto crash, he's kind of been the only one who's still in that stuff. Oh, like Beanie Babies. Exactly. Um, but yeah, his, <laughs> his status is set to red and like his he wrote a note for himself um, writing injustices BRB. <laughs> My life is over, all caps. Exactly. Okay, I'll make my way to the common mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. The common area is just uh, Marco and Buria crashed on the couch. Spaghetti absolutely <laughs> everywhere. Uh, Leaking out of his of the pockets. Night, it's awful. In the middle of the night, they ended up getting up and they made some uh, shin ramen with egg. And uh, it was it was way, way too hot uh, for Buria. And he got it everywhere. <laughs> Buria again? It is very spicy. I did not know it was going to be like that. I secondarily, not enough maple syrup this time, I will agree. Well, and I told you to last time. I primal force of nature going up against spicy food. <laughs> I just don't know why you put so much in there. Indigestion. Oh, I will be leaving for that later. Don't do worry. I'm not doing that here. And Thank use you. half the packet. It's not about the packet. You use cayenne, you use ghost pepper. I don't know how you can stand it. It's amazing. You are very impressive, Marco. <laughs> Thank you. Is, um... Has she come out thinking about her blonde prince yet? Sadie's, like, doing her hair in the bathroom. Just getting ready to leave. <laughs> Curling it and all the, all the, all the bells and whistles. Is there any music blaring? What, what's the playlist? Oh, she's just eavesdropping on their conversation. <laughs> mm, that's good enough. Hey, there's, a, there's a lot. Pronto is Googling how old the American is. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. As long as you cut the number in half and add seven, you're probably okay. I just need 10 minutes in girl time. Okay? Okay, so 30. <laughs> In that case, Buria throws on an apron and goes around the house or the container, wherever they are, with a uh, with a mop and starts cleaning up the mess that they made. Okay, so just as a heads up, it looks like Jimmy got hit. Um, I think that this squad or whatever is trying to show, you know, they know we have footage, they know we can leak it. And they're just trying to get us a little intimidated. Well, they know we have footage. We know we have footage. But are we going to say that we have footage? We need to be very clear about this before we start negotiating. Well, I, I'm not sure if they know about the GoPro. Um, they definitely know about the live stream, which is already, they've already taken that. So I can offer up the local recording of the live, st live stream and hopefully they'll be okay with that. As you're Googling the American, the American is actually the third, American three, like the third person to hold this title. Uh, That's too many Americans. <laughs> <laughs> the first American was a gimmick villain who was crippled by rain killer and is no longer active. And oh. uh, the second American who was a hero uh, she was killed. She was murdered. Oh my god. So everybody kind of saw that um, everyone thought that the epithet was dead. Uh, 
So, but this guy who took over the, the third American is Brad Knutson. He's the mighty face. Oh, he's a he's, Brad. He's a Brad. He's the face of the five shields. Um, <clears throat> he's got some... His detractors think he's not much different from the first American who was again a gimmick villain they call him the ugly American or the American scheme or sentinel light <laughs> uh, they all see sentinel but you know he's got uh obviously the marketing machine is working overtime he's had some magazine covers plenty of news coverage all that the, the, the whole vibe of the Five Shields, some people think that they're absolute sellouts, but some people think that they're actually surprisingly authentic because they bring their real person, their real, you know, selves to this whole thing. Uh, Devil Dove live blogging helps a lot. So opinions are divided. Is the name the American a trademark? The American give, three, given to him. It, no, uh, he took the title. Nobody had a trademark, but you can bet it is now. Good to know. And they already got the domain name. I'm sorry. They've been very thorough. That's okay. We'll come, come out with the true American. They'll come. <laughs> the real American the real hero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anything else, team? I just want to be clear on our strategy about the GoPro. It doesn't exist. Or maybe it's a sweet dinner later. I feel like if we are very secretive now and then they come out and say, oh, looky what we find. Maybe they are not so play nice with us, especially if we are dating them at the time. Maybe, Maybe. they'll be nicer if we are dating them at the time. Oh, yes. That's a good point. I know that couples are honestly super, super into lying. Most of them. They say that honesty has no value in a relationship. Yeah, especially for public relations relationships. Maybe. And as uh, Boria says this, he has a he's like clinging to the wall and he's like getting really up high in the warehouse trying to get this spaghetti off the top of the ceiling. Perhaps maybe you didn't know it was there. Maybe we give up everything that we have and you're weird social media dog happened to have GoPro going at the time. You did not realize until eventually you realize. Oh my gosh, you're a genius! Duh, duh. Okay, okay. Um, write yourself a note or something that you will come across reminding you to look where you just hid that. What? Are you still talking to me? Yes. Okay. Can, well, can you write a note? I mean, like Ken, but he kind of holds up his weird hands that are like half fingers, half claws. It's difficult. I prefer if maybe someone else can do this for me. I'll you. write the notes. Thank you, Marco. And as he says this, he finally gets that chunk of spaghetti off the roof and it just falls down onto the floor. <laughs> Boreas scurries over and just eats it up. He's not actually using the mop to clean. He's just wiping it off the walls. And when it falls on the ground, he just <laughs> consumes it. And what is this note to say? some sort of something that like you know the average person is not going to be able to understand but you'll understand where the sd card is oh and i understand here come here come here mark and he kind of rushes over and he uh he takes the pin and he very crudely it's it's dreadful uh he in russian writes out the note that has been described to him and then he passes it over to uh to marco now if you can just make this look better just copy it symbol and uh it should be good wherever you put this i don't know how to write cyrillic but uh i'll try my best you will do just fine marco i will understand these things about you you always <laughs> come through in pinch marco does his best uh Transcribe the Cyrillic symbols. Roll a mind check unless you have a skill that would be directly related to this. This is 2d6, 2D6 plus, plus mind. mind, right? Mm -hmm. First roll of the day. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, 18. Oh, you did an excellent job. 
And now I don't have to make up some funny mistranslation because of getting a line wrong here or a line wrong there. <laughs> Great. Spare me some creativity. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. You do a good job of replicating it. You can put the note wherever you need to go before all of you roll out as Sadie continues to move through her uh, prep, <laughs> all of her prep stages. <laughs> Is she going to come out like prom queen? No. American, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> What are we doing with this note? Hide it where you're going to find it in like, say a week, but not Marco. anytime sooner. Marco just like. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> I don't even get it. Uh, he goes into a like hand mouth the thing. Mouth opened on his hand. You know. Oh, that thing. Yeah, that's okay. his power. That's his thing. <laughs> okay. Now, if you all don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of our memories of us having the SD card. Uh, okay. Don't you need? Uh, oh, is Sadie out now? Uh, I can hear you from the bathroom, so I'm like, huh? Oh. Ah, da, da, I, I see. This is what note is for. Very. Hold on. We need better than just Marco hand. Um, hold on, just a moment. What? Well, if we lose memory, there's you will not know what that note is until you go fishing around inside of your palm. Yes. Yeah. He he said. I mean, I told you someplace you would find it in seven days. What would happen in seven days? I mean, we what could change that? it to three. <gasps> I just don't know if they'll be off our tails by then. Uh, how 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 well do you know what's in your pocket dimension? Mm, pretty well, I imagine. Like, if something like... starts going bad, are you going to know? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Ah, uh, right. spaghetti clock. <laughs> yeah, no, Moria is going to go. Uh, he's going to go to the fridge, and he's going to use his excellent sense of smell to figure out what in there is probably going to go bad within the next week. And uh, he'll grab a wad of that. And he's going to go ahead and just attach it. He'll have Marco bring back the note. He's going to strap the note to that okay. piece of Salad whatever. in a salad bag. has, If it's properly taken care of, got about seven days before it starts to wilt and give you that vegetable smell. It's definitely Sadie who's eating a salad. I was going to say, is there any salad in this house? Let's get that down first. <laughs> is this a salad Probably. eating household? Okay. All right. We, there, we do have some salad in the house. All right. So that'll work. There's like a quinoa, <laughs> spinach, and kale salad. So if we're gonna have a bag full of salad, uh, you know those little those little plastic containers where you find little prizes and 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 you know, various <laughs> like treats and stuff. Egg? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put the uh, the note inside of that and stick it in the bag. It's like one of the clear ones though, so you can like see that there's a note inside of it. Okay, salad clock. I like. Yes, it. salad clock exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the most weird thing that's going to happen to me today. Sadie! It's uh -huh. time to get our minds wiped. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Moria is totally over. okay with this because he has a note that suppose that apparently uh, Gabby had written or had him write before because all it says, he woke up and it just has a little note that says, trust Gabby. He's like, okay, sure. So every time he wipes <laughs> his memory, he just knows, okay, yeah. <laughs> This is not the first time this has happened, nor will it be the last. Nor will it be the last. All right. Well, also, if... does he, like, call her Gabby when her name is Abby for some reason? <laughs> well, her, 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 her real name is Gabby Gatto, but her, her oh. super name is Abby Normal. Ah, yeah. I, th I think her pronto only knows her as Abby, and he's like, is, is Borea just misspeaking? Is, is this wrong? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my real name is Gabby, but that's kind of like a bitch name, and I can't be a bitch on the internet, okay? Only in real life. I've met plenty of people who are bitches on the internet. Are we going yet? My hair, my hairspray is only going to last for so long. I think we should rebrand Sadie as apple pie. Thanks. Huh. Because Americans love apple pie. Ah. <laughs> so he loves me? <laughs> if, you love, if you love apple pie, he loves you and, you know, American apple pie is a pretty good combo. Abby, when you wipe my when you wipe my memory, include this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Abby, what skill or attribute do you use for mind wipes, and does it have any weird little uh, 
drawbacks or anything that we need to know about before you pull this? So it's telepathy okay. at a level six. Okay. Um, as long as I can perceive them, mm -hmm. so touch here or use a special detection, um, mm -hmm. it'll work on them. Um, I don't think that they need to roll anything if they're just if agreeing they're willing. To it. willing. If they're willing, yeah. You will yeah. need to roll, but they don't have to roll to defend themselves. Right. So you're going to roll probably mind, maybe soul. I think it's mind. Da, da, da. The psychic powers could really stem from either. Um, if yeah. the attack succeeds, mind stat plus telepathy mm -hmm. attribute level. Okay. So Before they and... get their minds wiped, Buria turns to Marco. I want you to know your mother does know that I am a talking dog and she sends treats to you because she is terrified that I will eat her if she does not. Roll 26 <laughs> plus mind and telepathy at that exact moment, Abby. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Yeah, to, to do the mind wipe. They don't have to roll to defend themselves. You just have to roll high enough to succeed and this should be pretty easy. Okay. 26 plus ranks and telepathy plus mind stat. Okay. Ranks? Mm -hmm. How so many? Six? Yeah. Yeah. And plus. Eight. Mind. Yeah. So 2d6 plus 14. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Ooh. No. Absolutely nailed it. Like a, like a surgeon with a laser scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> Memories wiped. Not of the events, only of the fact that you have footage. You now all believe. Uh, did you mind wipe yourself? Yes. Okay. You now all believe that all footage has been lost. And, and that Marco doesn't know that Boria's mom knows that he can talk. Um, and that her nickname is Apple Pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that entire conversation has been erased. God damn it. All right. Uh, are we ready for our, our ride service? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's call the ride share. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Can't I fly everyone? Didn't we do that last time? Because I can, you, you can carry technically a ton. <laughs> they offered you uh, a flight. They offered you Ooh, a black a car service. Yeah. Well, no, it's yeah. like a black oh. SUV. Okay, fine. That's, that's, that's chill enough. Is it? Is it red, white, and blue? Lemon? No. <laughs> it is a. It is a black limousine. But is that like a decal on it that's red, white, and blue? Uh, no, it's completely unmarked. Unfortunate. <laughs> Can there be a decal that is red, <laughs> white, and blue? Are you going to spend energy to make there be a decal that's red, white, and blue? Because they're trying how, how to much? be uh, 10. They are like, again, the point of this is to be surreptitious, but... Minor retcon <laughs> for American it, 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 is, it is a minor retcon if you want a red, white, and blue... Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now. All I'm gonna do is troll you because I re I, I regain five energy every round. So yeah, dude, I'm dropping ten energy in order to put a freaking decal on this thing. That's one of your powers. You regenerate five energy around. I have I have I have regeneration and uh, five and health five. So I I gain back five health and five energy every round. I hate your character so much. <laughs> All right, there's a uh, the symbol of the five shields, which is like this uh, very tough looking I'll, I'll send you the seal it's, it's a shield but it's got like an eagle a, a red white and blue eagle looking sternly to the side bam on the side not Hell nearly yeah. as, as subtle as they plan to be the black suv pulls up tuxedo you know suit wearing earpiece uh sidearm gets out uh, shades on opens the door gestures all of you to go in Mate, I'm gonna throw you a bone. It's one of those decals that doesn't exist in our world, but like it can like phase in and out. So like when they roll up, oh yeah, it they, shows like the it appears. And it's like oh yeah, we're here, and then you know when they drive away. Perfect, done. They absolutely have that tech. Uh, barring any objections, they'll just go ahead and make the drive now over to Staten Island. Sick. They've got power. They've got Wi-Fi. They've got mints and water, both sparkling and normal bottled. Uh, all the works. You have temperature control in the back, music control in the back. What kind of candy do they have? Ponto tries to make Buria try sparkling water. 
Thoria doesn't refuse, and they feel guilty by offloading their guilt earlier, so they will drink sparkling water. It's too Will spicy. You... That's also too spicy. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, don't don't like sparkle oh, water. When we take you out later, you are going to make a big mess. Is Boris superpower just being a white person? He's <laughs> 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 Boris from Russia. Um, all right. So the drive takes a few minutes. New York is a big place. And well, Empire City. Sorry, my bad. Let me pull up Five Shields Corporate Park. A long, unused tract of land on the northwest side of Staten Island. Several corporations pooled their resources towards a common vision. It's Five Shields Corporate Park. Cutting edge technology, very tasteful architecture, right? Uh, and very high security. So as you drive up to the place, it's got, you know, excellently manicured topiary and very lots of glass, lots of interesting architecture all over the place. It it look it doesn't look like a superhero base. It looks like the headquarters of a really, really hip organization. Not not hip, but like sleek, modern, etc. It's got a big mm. old uh, when you drive up, there's this big old like fountain with the five shields logo in marble up front and then as you go in there are flags for each of the five corporations in the five shields consortium that all sponsored the thing uh they drive up they go through security you know you notice several layers of security including guards with machine guns and guards with zappers which are devices that negate superpowers oh uh, zappers zappers wait a yes. minute how because hmm? some superpowers are magical in nature some are science some are no, well, it uses Concord energies to suppress metastasis. Sign. Yeah, get big worded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> me, um, me, when I really want to frag a kid at a spelling bee. <laughs> they drive you up. Uh, again, the, the immaculately set up. There's a, there's different buildings to the side. There's there's PR, uh, various offices, legal. Uh, there's obviously one building in the middle that's the headquarters. It's set up to be like a superhero base, but again, if Disney made it, except a little bit more polished, that's not where you're going. You are going to the uh, HR department. And they drive you up. They'll go ahead and escort you out. There's somebody who's well, who's there to greet you. She's about five foot six, wearing a tan a uh, business suit with a skirt, jacket, all of that. Hair, uh, perf like precision bun up and a clip, a tablet and a strong handshake as he says, hi, welcome. Welcome to Five Shields Corporate Park. I'm Nancy Bloom. I'll be taking care of you today. We're very, very glad to have you here. Um, I, let's see. And she'll go ahead and just read off all of your names just to make sure that everyone is present and then with barely waiting a moment, she'll go ahead and lead you through the massive glass sliding doors into the beautiful lobby. There's a there's a uh, enormous hanging plant up top, multiple levels. You know, one of those open air lobbies. And we'll just buzz in at the front desk and lead you into the back through a secure door into a lovely conference room overlooking a Zen garden. There's an like inside with glass walls on all sides. It's a courtyard inside the building with a flowing rock path and bridges and ambient music playing and the conference room is overlooking it and she'll go ahead and sit all of you down. Is there a lot of space in this garden area? Uh, you're not in the garden. You're overlooking the garden, but the garden does have a lot of space. Is there a lot of space where we are right now? Uh, it's a fairly large conference room, high ceilings. Like how high? Like eight feet high. <laughs> Like, oh, that's not very high at all. For a conference room, it is. Well, mm, 12 feet high. Booty, that's yeah. better for yeah I, was, yeah, I was about to say, eight, eight feet high seems maybe even under average. Yeah, was there feet, Was but... there anywhere over the course of this walk where there was enough room for Boria to be the winter wampus? From the car to the to the lobby. Hmm. Sure. 
Uh, <laughs> as we are as we are approaching the building, uh, Boria just for a moment kind of stops the group before they enter the building. We do not know what sort of trap we may fall ourselves in. Everyone, please, just for a moment, gather around. Okay. And uh, he's going to wrap everybody up in his uh, little arms, kind of just like these big, long, stretchy arms that he has. And uh, he'll kind of wrap everybody up. And then in an instant, he's going to transform into the Wimper Womp Winter Wumpus, uh, bundling them all up close to his chest. He jumps straight up to where he's out of sight of everyone nearby. And he's going to enter into super winter mode. And he's going to inspire his uh, allies, if they so choose, with his all uh, in uh is all inspiring uh primal presence and uh and then when they land back down into the city uh he'll transform back down into tiny uh little buria and uh for the next part of the scene everyone has big bonuses to their stuff apologies oh, miss bloom if uh he doesn't get it out then uh it's more dangerous to do inside as you we were out of sight up into the air she was like talk in the middle of saying something when you transform and just jump and she turns around or like she she's just talking she turns around you're not there ah uh, okay looks for a moment when you're up in the air uh you hear this <laughs> intense whining sound and you notice on top of all the skyscrapers and especially the large headquarters building in the front are gun turrets and sensors that all track you the moment that you enter their airspace and, and they just follow you up and follow you back down interesting now we know about that that's scouting <laughs> wow all right um let's go ahead and make sure that we uh we check in before we enter any other areas of the complex just to make sure we don't have any security issues but that was i this is a uh, this is good yes this is good um right this way i'm sorry i had to fart i did not know outside was uh, under your jurisdiction my apologies oh it's just it's just a security matter it's not no offense given just we want to make sure that everyone has a safe experience here um can we, can we get those uh, waivers up front uh, sent to the tablet thank you all right and uh she'll go ahead and lead you into the conference room as said previously and each of there's a tablet on the and a pile of paperwork in front of each of you as she sits down i can't tell you all how excited we are to have you here uh, i'd like to officially welcome you on behalf of the five shields consortium uh, what what a what a few hours huh yes speaking of five shields i does not see any shields present are they going to be here for the finalization of this paperwork oh, no no we take care of the paperwork for them you, know, you have to understand they uh the hero business right we prefer to keep them focused where their talents are we take care of all the administrative back office things so that they can do what so they're best at. the americans not coming well not immediately but i'm sure we can see if there's an availability in his schedule depending on how yeah. things go here if you could yeah. boria turns to gabby uh didn't did didn't you say Abby Normal that uh, that that the rock breaker lady? She said that she was going to be here to finalize this paperwork. I think they wanted us to be here at this specific time. There was talk of large funds and many candies involved. It was a yeah. big. Deal. I have all that information right here in front of me. Don't worry. It's all in this file. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a look and try and like flip through the document and see. Is it like just? Dense legal jargon, some it's hair bars. It's very dense legal gar jargon. Do you have any skills or attributes that would help you parse all of this stuff? I hate reading. <laughs> I have a 12 in mind. Does that help? <laughs> with your claws, like, poking through the paperwork? I'm not poking through it. Someone with actual, like, mandibles has to do that. <laughs> all right. So, as you're all aware, the... A uh, temporary agreement that was signed last night is still in effect. I trust that you've all been re recompensed except um, uh, Borja. That is, we're still working on that, but I can assure you, being taken care of as fast as possible. Understandable. Uh, now, um, we've been looking into all of you and very impressed with what we've seen so far, uh, all things considered. 
your social acumen, your presentation, maintenance of image, unique skill set, both as demonstrated last night and in uh, previous endeavors and during your time at the Harrison Academy. Uh, honestly, you have the exact sort of X factor that we are looking for here at the consortium. Are you trying to procure an academy team? An academy team? Um, oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Uh, maybe at some point, this is more, at this point, we're more of a, it's more of a pilot program, if you will. All right. Uh, an incubator for younger heroes with a lot of promise who could become part of the Five Shields um, brand and really make a difference out there in the world. I'd be more convinced if the American were here to explain <laughs> the terms. Oh, <laughs> well, Brad isn't much for the, the paperwork side of things, but let me go ahead and swipe, swipe. To... You know, check. a personal endorsement means a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. we have to get a referral to make sure that he is, you know, satisfied with your management. Of course, that all makes sense. Um, before we get to that point, though, uh, I was wondering if you'd like to discuss some of the some of the specifics involved, some of the benefits involved, the exact nature of the all that. We'll get all those things out of the way, so that once we move on to reintroductions, we won't have to worry about any of that. Yes, I'd, I'd like to make a. This is not uh, Moria. This is Matt. <laughs> I'd like to okay. make a check yes. to look for to look for crappy legal jargon. Okay, roll a mind check. Okay. I roll. It's just okay. So, question: I have heightened senses, uh, hearing, smell, and sight. Does that apply to this? No. No. It doesn't help um, you understand the legal jargon. I also have heightened awareness, which allows me to gain uh, bonuses on noticing hidden things, such as concealed mm -hmm. objects, ambushes, clues, or anything else related to sensory awareness. I think that should probably apply, right? Yeah, we'll let that apply. Okay. Cool. So then this is going to be 2d6 plus, and normally I have a plus 12 because of mine. Is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I have plus 6 from Insight and then plus 6 from Heightened Senses. So that'll be 29. That's a 29 hit. <laughs> uh, I get uh, a mulligan. I'm going to go ahead and do a reroll for one of those. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hey, what a banger. <laughs> All right, just twenty nine. Hey, does Buddha have any legal knowledge? Because he's absolutely going to find little things here and there, but uh, it's a question of what he can actually parse with that. Buddha hyper you... focuses on the things that they enjoy and love, and they enjoy and love candy. And since they have been uh, back in the states for the last just over a month and a couple of weeks they have spent all of their time heroing getting to know their friends and wikipedia and everything that has to do with candy and chocolate including all of the legal ramifications that has happened with brands stealing each other's uh mm -hmm. you know supplies and stepping on their toes and all that so in so much as he understands that in regards to like hershey and you know cadbury <laughs> then yes okay all right uh does anybody else here have legal knowledge because basically if you team up with Buria and the absolute attention to detail going on we could have something better than a <clears throat> this would more apply to product and, and fda laws sort of thing going on marco would only understand things to do with like uh labor hiring laws mm -hmm. well i can read <laughs> <laughs> Abby, what about you? You have contract law in your purview. I imagine you would have at least some. Um, you don't have to have it on your character sheet if it makes sense with your background. So I'm, I don't think you're a legal expert. You're not a lawyer, but you'd have some yeah. experience with this stuff, right? Yeah, I'd be able to like take a quick look and notice, you know, what's good or bad in a general sense. Okay, give me a mind roll. Plus, what, six for your winter minty freshness, Matt? Uh-huh. Yes, right. that Ma is correct. Mind plus six plus anything else that's applicable. Okay. Um, is it a 2d6? 2d6. Always a 2d6, unless you have an edge or an obstacle. Okay. 23. 23. Okay, this is an enormous, enormous contract, right? This is really, really long and it has a lot of restrictions. Uh, 
determination in the event of posing a brand risk to the company, uh, restrictions against uh, bad talking the company or anybody associated with it. Obviously, your standard confidentiality, not revealing company secrets sorts of things. Um, right of first refusal for any spin-off media that you may generate. Uh, however, it also includes housing, transportation, uniforms, and uh, what am I missing? Uniforms? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, so are we joining the shields? Are we going to be the bucklers? They, 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 yeah, essentially, they. this is a contract to become a subcontractor superhero team working oh. for the five shields. However, oh. a lot of it focuses on the skills that you have already demonstrated. Again, marketability, uh, marketing at public appearances, maintaining a social media profile, influencing. There is, ob there is stuff in there for like actual, you know, work, actual superheroing. But a lot of it is about brand identity. And one of the thing, one of the things in there is that you agree to work with a Five Shields brand analyst and uh, consultant to work on your overall public image, which may include a rebranding if necessary. And it comes with a yearly salary. And it comes with a lifetime NDA on discussing any of the events that occurred last night. Oh shit, lifetime. Yes. What is the uh what is the fallout if you break the NDA? Uh legal ramifications. They will be able to sue you uh for contract court. And the Five Shields Consortium will employ any and all means necessary to remedy any breach of contract. Can we modify that slightly propose a modification of course Nancy's uh, here to discuss anything any questions that you might have about all of this Buria is going to propose that as long as and they're not speaking for the entire team in that they're not making this decision without them they're just proposing it mm -hmm. uh that this lifetime agreement it can stand so long as uh it doesn't if it if it breaches like I would say minor offenses mm -hmm. uh up to and including like very very light felonies that that's fine but if it's like treasonous stuff like if it's like mm -hmm. I, I i don't know the term for it and Boria probably doesn't know the term for it he's kind of looking to his group for help uh but he's basically like describing like if we're going to be enemies of not just a state but a country by keeping a secret of the shields that no that is not going to be uh that is not going to be held down to us uh or just with the understanding that like like if 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 we if if we would go to jail for mm -hmm. you know for 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 releasing information that's 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 fine yeah we get we get it we're going to be getting sued whatever what jiggers but like if uh if the shields are planning a hostile takeover of the country uh yeah that's not something we're going to keep under wraps <laughs> well i mean i don't think a, a modification there is necessary because this is a legal document and something like what you're suggesting would be uh a highly extremely super illegal so at that point it wouldn't be an issue right yeah and if you end up taking over after we you know <laughs> spill the beans on you <laughs> we don't want to uh we want to we want to in a contract that yeah well you try <laughs> oh yeah at that point i don't think a contract would really apply anymore this mm. this contract is pedic is predicated on united states and a couple of participating other um legal re re recognition in the European Union and wherever else we have satellite offices. But in, in the event that we go <laughs> over through the government, well, then the government's laws would no longer apply, right? And so this contract would be null and void. So I don't think that there's it's necessary to include something like that. That's sort of a default, a function of the law. So as as she's replying, Nancy, as Nancy's replying in this way, mm -hmm. uh, Bori is trying to get a read as to uh, if what he's bringing up seems like so ridiculous mm -hmm. that uh you know they're barely entertaining a response or are they having like a, oh shit mm. they're on to us kind of a thing it's uh <laughs> it's so silly <laughs> i i'm not fully convinced but okay well that's really fully uh, convinced i'm not convinced though we'd be giving away some rights to our aesthetic management 
I'd like to propose that the uniform requirement be a collaborative negotiation of design. Absolutely. It has to be authentic, after all. I don't do spandex. We can go ahead and put in a red line for um, mutually agreeable brand changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the um what is the monthly stipend? The monthly stipend? Well, it starts out at eight thousand dollars a month. Plus housing and transportation. Uh and food and uh an expense expenses as necessary. And like a wardrobe uh stipend as well? Like on the side you need like expenses claimed? I'm sure we can work something out depending on I mean after all if you're representing the consortium you need to look your best so I think that would fall under business expenses if the clothes appear in the media post exactly absolutely can I see if can I make a check with interpersonal dynamics to see mm -hmm. how willing she's hiding like how willing, how high she's willing to go. Okay. Is this their like their best <laughs> offer? Is this their lowball mm -hmm. offer? Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and give me that. Um, I think that would still be mind, but there's an argument that it could be soul plus interpersonal, unless it says in the description. Um, it's it would be six cents. Uh, yes, yeah, it's soul. Okay, then roll two d six plus soul plus six cents. I guess I only have two in there. 16. Did you add the six to that? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, from in, I'm into freshness. 22. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, Five Shields Consortium is... They've got deep pockets. They've got enormously deep pockets. So is this their theoretically best offer? No, absolutely not. They can afford to pay you each uh, 20 million a year, but they're not going to because you're not there yet. So you get the impression that you absolutely could get some more out of this, but there's gonna be a limit on how much upfront you can ask for. But if you go for contingencies and, and things like that, long-term things, there's more room there. Yeah, what are the growth right. opportunities out of this deal? Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of this, is that your individual roles wouldn't really need to change for you to grow in this position. Um, given that this is an ambassadorship, uh, an influencer position, a uh, brand ambassador, the degree of your success, obviously this would scale with the impact that you have. Um, now, as for other roles and opportunities within the Five Shields Consortium, there's a wide variety of careers available, but I I just feel that, <clears throat> she glances over at Pronto for a moment, because I feel that this would be a more unique, better fit. Pronto's been fairly quiet thus far, just like, he, he's kind of, he ain't reading, but he mm -hmm. he's trying to look like he reading, but... <laughs> He, he is like drumming his fingers on the table next to the document. He seems uh, a little bit antsy, but uh, to be into personal dynamics, it probably doesn't take a role to see that he is somewhat excited mm -hmm. uh, at this prospect. Um, he he locks eyes with Nancy. Uh, Nancy did shake hands, right? Yes. Just checking. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, perhaps um, minimum monthly social collaborations with the five shields that would present good growth opportunities hmm. she's going to scroll through you see calendars going by contracts going by and says now I think if every two months just based on scheduling a uh, minimum every two months is probably more doable at first as we work to integrate you into our our funnel 
our promotional funnel and all of our workflows. Uh, why don't we start with every two months? And then obviously if it's a success and if, things, if there's a lot of great synergy going on, then we can move things from there. But it After starts two this months. month, correct? Sure. After two months, I want healthcare extended to the family, immediate family. After two months? Yes. Or immediately. That seems fine. Pronto nods and he, he seems satisfied. He is still pretending to read. <laughs> <laughs> Buria is using Pronto's uh, ability to flip pages easily as a way to read through this contract without making a mess of it. Mm -hmm. So it's a duo reading. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Buria's going to pipe up and say that uh, they definitely want to utilize the influence and reach of the consortium to help boost uh, their group's social media line. Uh, also, no more, uh, if we're going to be partners, we'll need to make sure that we've signed this NDA. You'll have to trust us. No more cutting the streams. Oh, that was, I, I do apologize for that. Um... You do not need an apology. I need the guarantee that this is all that is required as part of this interaction. Well, we do have certain standard uh, content and standards policies that are universal for all of our creators. But as long as you operate within the purview of that, we would definitely would have absolutely no reason. I can't think of anything that isn't already covered by this contract that would cause us to. Ooh, uh, as you'll see on page uh, 65, subsection 1337, there's a uh, item about gamer words. So yes, if if any that would that behavior would be in breach of contract. So I can't think of anything outside of uh, breach of contract that would uh, constitute a problem. Yes, well, see, we want guarantee. We don't want promise. We want written. Okay, I can add that that nothing that that is not in breach of contract will result in interference of that nature. Ponta looks over to Sadie. Does she look like she's just waiting for the American? Where is he? Yeah, she's not very convinced. Like she, she likes the deal, but she wants to see the American. <laughs> Bring me my hunk. <laughs> well, what are we thinking, gang? Do we need to uh, if you discuss want to do things this, privately? Yeah, I'd be happy to give you some time. I absolutely understand. This is a major decision that you would all have to make. Uh, we are an up-and-coming team. We are but uh, college students who are doing the superhero work. Uh, this seems like perfect opportunity for some kind of mentor-student relationship, don't you think? If each member of the Crusaders was paired up with a member of the Shields. Well, that won't be doing... immediately available, but we can certainly add that as part of the track. What's about they have other students they are working with at the moment? No, exact, no, there aren't, which is precisely why the infrastructure, the workflow doesn't exist yet. It'll need to be developed before that is a something that we can easily integrate into their ongoing duties and obligations. Oh yeah, we can shadow them when they are on patrol. We go on patrol, they go on patrol, we go on these patrol together. These are some together. great ideas, Buria. I'll be sure to have all of these on here as projects that we can work on together in the future. Hmm. You do know <laughs> that we saw you kill a guy, right? Like, you are making a lot of demands from us, and we are making very nice suggestions. I'm hoping at least one go on paper. I may look like a six-armed, fugly dog. <laughs> no, nobody sees you that way, Boria. Absolutely Everybody not. Everybody see... Do not patronize me, Nancy. I know what I am, and I utilize <laughs> it to the best of my ability. I have made that a very, a very... a lot of introspection, self-awareness, and just overall intelligence. Uh, which is exactly why we think that you'd be a fantastic fit for this project. We have a subcontractor. Can you offer them minor benefits? Uh, are you referring to Jimmy? Yes. Of course. Uh, be Pr Pronto, like, oh, if they said his name, and he's like, <laughs> I don't want to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. We are happy to, especially as, as you're successful and as your needs change and develop, we're happy to offer subcontract benefits to whatever your, whatever sort of comes up. So if you find yourself in need of a 
personal assistant, then as long as we're seeing commensurate growth with the project, that, that can absolutely be arranged. And I, I understand that your your uh, support personnel is already very important to what you do, Gabby, so we'll be able to take care of that for you. Awesome, awesome. Does he get his NFTs back? What? <laughs> uh, Jimmy I'm, was hacked earlier this morning. His apes are gone. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you ensure that those apes are never recovered? Are never recovered? Um, it does not need to be in the contract. It's fat, it's better if it is not. This is merely a suggestion that maybe you will consider. Moria kind of raises his eyebrows a bit. Five Shields, um, we're not currently developing any active NFT projects. We do have a blockchain division, of course, but they're kind of on hiatus at the moment doing long-term research. I. Uh, I'm afraid I'm a little bit lost in terms of the context right now. I am sorry to hear that your friend was hacked. Can we tell if lost. Nancy is lying or not? Uh, are they are they trying to say that they didn't hack Jimmy? They are saying that the Five Shields doesn't know shit about this. Do we believe them? Mm. Given your ridiculously high roles and the fact that one of you is literally psychic, yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Nancy is genuinely, this is news to her. And she is huh. sort of paging through her messages and, uh, you know, pops up a little chat and is just messaging, we didn't do any um, black hat ops aside. No, everything went through official channels for this, right? Like she's messaging the, uh, the covert cyber department right now to see if they stole any Zodiac Raider NFTs or, or rare apes. And, uh, mate, you said that our, we knew for sure that, uh, that Boria's nemesis group was connected to this warehouse, right? Yes. Well, that, that was the lead that you had. You didn't, you never got proof of it. That was the lead. Boria begins freaking out. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. They found us. They know that we are involved. They are going to start with Aki Jimmy and they are going to move their way to us. Everybody secure your crazy apes. <laughs> Make sure that all your accounts are double hacked on the firewall. <laughs> they are going to come for you. They're going to come for your children. He goes and he puts his hands, his clawed hands around uh, Marcos's face. They are going to come from Mama Pronto. We must get out of here. We have to secure ourselves. Quickly. We must sign contract and leave. Before we are attacked here in this we're, bastion. We're not done with the negotiations yet. But they are I, coming for us. I they think this is a Jimmy. secure facility. Absolutely. This, I mean... Not just our life, not just you, our honored guests, but um, the five shields themselves. Uh, so this is state of the art. We 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 are ready to deal with metahuman threats. Our cybersecurity is absolutely top notch. But what about people in lab cold? Are you able to deal with people in lab cold? Yes. Okay. That that leads me to um another point in the contract i'm sorry that we have so many considerations this is such but, a major you know. decision i would never hold that against you great um so Buria's uh true form mm -hmm. should not appear on camera um you know while we're still working out um there's still a lot of people that um it's just better to keep it quiet that. It's an issue to personal safety. Hmm. Well, I can assure you that we will be taking your personal safety very, very seriously. So you will be providing us with housing here in this giant bastion of safety, yes? Yes, exactly. We have on-campus housing with excellent fitness, secure, uh, fitness facilities, lots of food options, lots of healthy food options, lots of not healthy food options, um, everything that you could possibly need and all protected by our state-of-the-art security measures. This is sounding like a pretty good deal, I must say. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. Okay. Um, do we still own our content? Hmm. What would be in the thing? What would be in the thing? Um, I think that the contract read as written is that you are, as long as the contract endures, you are co-owners. I mean, as, 
The five shields wants 90% ownership, but will pay you. Uh, they're not going to take any of your revenue whatsoever. In fact, they endeavor to expand your revenue. If for some reason the five shields decides to separate from the Crusaders and end mm -hmm. their contract with us, is first of all, is there anything that we can do to prevent that? Second of all, are they going to give us rights back to what we own if that's the case? The they can add that in. That's not currently in right now. If you leave anything that you made with them, would remain ninety percent theirs. Uh, but the NDA is indefinite. Maybe we can talk amongst ourselves. Of course. Go ahead. If you need any additional, there's a mini fridge right there, a variety of snacks. Please help yourselves. And she'll go ahead and get up and walk out. And she gets a call. Like, as she's walking out, she's like, something about apes or something? <laughs> NFT? I don't know what. To... Okay, what you guys, I'm. Juice? <laughs> I'm really confused. I feel like this contract's really good. I mean, okay. sure, we're giving up a lot of ownership, and they're gonna, you know, yeah, you know, they're they're gonna own ninety percent of our content. But like, what? It's gonna be a lot easier. Why don't we just put a clause that either party can just give twenty four hour notice to terminate the agreement, or we can terminate it ourselves by making a farce out of ourselves which would breach the agreement that wouldn't be hard yeah we could just like fail on all of our obligations perhaps we have set up to where we will keep lifetime nda whatever um for a certain amount a upfront amount of money whatever and then all the rest of the perks go along with us being connected to them and that we have a we have some sort of severance clause. I personally That's... really like the setup. It seems it's good money and helps us grow. And the American doesn't pull my intestines out through my mouth, which is a big bonus. Yes, big but perk, yeah. American could always pull your intestines out of your mouth and they would just sign NDA for whoever sees. Mm. That is not enormous safety. It's okay. Sadie will stop him. Once they are... I won't. That is... <laughs> if you deserve it, I'm not interfering with any of that. You know, that seems like oh. a great place for us to take our break. Just on that exact <laughs> point. So, we'll be back in a few minutes, folks, with more exciting contract signing superhero action. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Any there we go. Anywhere. <laughs> nothing happened. I pressed the button and nothing happened. No. Oh my I god, it's hot as balls in this thing! Woo!